In this video, I'm going to talk about skills within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now, agents can have different skill sets and abilities. Now, why the skill set is needed is to, uh, one is it is uh, user's characteristics, uh, the very purpose of user's existence within the organization. And second is the skills enable the uh, user to resolve the issue. So think about it, like if a, a Power BI ticket has been raised by a customer, then an agent who specializes in those skill set will be able to resolve that case. So the queues uh, will be configured as per the skill set or maybe the routing engine will let the system know that the agents uh, which have that specific skill set uh, will get the first preference to solve the issue. Now, Think about it like if you have a five team member and all of them are specialized in power bi then you can have some sort of a ratings attached to that skills so you can have uh, a proficiency scale which is basically a rating model which will allow you to rate your skills so if there are five agent maybe let's say two agent will be uh, proficient in power bi and one agent might be good and one agent might be just at a novice or a beginner stage okay now skills are attached to skill type okay now the skill type can be skill or a certification so skill means you can be specialized in power bi power apps power automate uh, management or uh, hr okay uh, or uh, say c sharp dot net Certification can be like if you have attained any certification, like say PL 900 or uh, PL 500, you know, uh, or for Power BI solution uh, or say Power uh, Platform Solution Architect expert. So those things can be attached as a part of skill type to a agent. Now skills are useful for configuring skills based routing. So if you're using skills based routing, then the routing engine will identify the agent belonging to a specific skills and based on the proficiency scale, it will start routing based on the configuration or the algorithm which is set in the backend. Agents can also update their skills. Uh, we can add users to a skills. So if we have a users in the users table, we can attach directly users to a skill. Uh, skills Hub contains skills, skill type, proficiency scale, intelligence skill finder model. Now, Skills Hub contains skills, so you can uh, add various skills in the back end. You can attach a skill type and a skill certification for a skill. Uh, you can assign the proficiency skill or the rating model. An intelligence skill finder model is kind of an artificial intelligence model which will help you identify the skill based on the a predefined uh, model set in the back end. Now, in the screen over here, you see there is this uh, under routing, there is skill based routing, which says settings related to the skill based routing experience in your organization. So, you need to enable update skill control. Okay, if you are able to do that, then you will be able to create. Uh, uh, those routing based experiences within your organization. Now, this is a screen for creating a skill. So you can, once you create a skill, you can specify a skill or a certification and then specify the name. These are the different rating model, which is available out of the box, like poor, fair, good, familiar, good, proficient. So you can also uh, add your own rating model and specify the ratings uh, as a, if you are not happy with the existing default rating model. Uh, against a skill, you can add users. Okay, so if, if as you see in the screen over here for a skill type budgeting skill name, we have attached Alex and Giresh to it. Okay, so we can attach those particular users to that skills. Skills configuration under user management, we can go to skills and skills hub. Skills is basically creating skills and assigning them to agents. Skills can also be attached to new work items. Skills Hub, Manage Skills, Proficiency Skills, and Intelligence Skill Finder Model. Now, under characteristics of that particular skill, uh, so these are a different set of skills, and we can specify the descriptions along with it. In the screen, the user, uh, uh, if you see this user, which is Gerish, I can configure 
the skills configuration over here okay and under the skills main form i can have users attached so the multiple ways you can attach a skill to a user or you can attach a characteristics or a skill to a users in this form okay so either way it works then under enhanced user management you can um, update skills using the update user attributes uh, you can see over here in the screen uh, there are a set of users which has a persona attached to it you can see the queue attached to it you can update the skills for that specific user by uh, identifying what kind of skills that user has and what other ratings attached to it okay so we'll go through this all this in a demo so uh, first thing what we can do is under search admin center we can start searching for skills so you will see a lot of different options so let me first go into skills hub okay so if i go to skills hub okay i will be able to see all the skills based information okay now here uh in skills i can click on manage and i can start configuring those skills okay so let me say if i want to create a skill and i'll say you now the skill is of type certification and i'll say uh, microsoft certified expert in say power apps okay so this is one kind of a certification i can create that skill now so this is added over here i can add another skill which is of type skill and i'll say power virtual agents and i can create it okay i can create an, another skill which is say uh, d365 sales okay now before i even create the skills what i'll do i'll add a user to it so i'll click on add and add a user and from here i'll add alex to it add selected users alex is added to the skills and uh, we can save the skill now this is how you can add a skill you can add a certification now this certification i can attach a user as well so let me add myself and add selected users save this information and then i can uh, save this close this and i can refresh this and i can see all this information so this particular certification one user has been attached okay so this is one way of adding those and going into the skills hub so let me go into the skills hub now here i can add a skill type okay so you can see a skill type of certification and skill uh, you can view this information over here so there are you can for a certification there are four count skill there are 35 okay now under proficiency scale you can have various rating model i'm not going to go in much depth but if i show you if this is a skills rating model minimum value is one maximum value is three you can create an skills rating model as well so if you see skills rating model is poor fair and good if you add, want to uh, edit or add this information you can do it in some different screen okay but you can view how this rating model is defined intelligence skill finder model again this is something related to artificial intelligence so i'm not going to uh, uh, work on this but this is how you can configure intelligent find skills find a model over here okay now under search admin center if i again type skills i can see user management skills so under user management skills i can see all the skills which is an active characteristics over here i can edit this so if i go to c plus plus skill i can see there's no one attached to it so let me attach a new bookable resource to it now the bookable resource is maybe alex wilbur and the rating value is say he is good I can click on save and then now i can say save and close and i can say for the c plus plus skill characteristics alex wilbur is of rating good and i can save and close this so that's how we can attach the skills to a user uh, so if you go to user management here you can see an option called as enhance user management manage key attribute like skills capacity profile and associated queue if i click on manage then a form will appear 
showing you all the contact center users now remember this is a mix set of users as well as bots okay you can see bots here you can see bots here you can see bots here bots here okay so it's all bots and users now you can even uh, do one thing update user attribute you can say i can update the skills okay so you can update the skills but then let's select a user so Johanna. okay if i select Johanna's name uh, I can do for multiple users, okay? So let me select Yana Lego. I can add those users over here and then update the skills. Now the skills can be, let me do say Power BI. So for Power BI, both these are say good, okay? Add to all, okay? And I will say uh, save it, okay? And this is how I can uh, add skills to the user. Now, if I select, say, bot, okay, and say, a couple of bots over here, update skills, then let's see what happens. Can I update skills to a bot? I can put sales, I can put uh, budgeting, okay, and I can, uh, let me remove this budgeting, and let me see the proficiency as, say, proficient, okay, add to all. Then I will select armband servicing and put it as poor, and then I can select quality management and make it fair. Okay. Now this is how I've attached skills to a bot as well. Okay. I will save this information and then the information will be saved. So this is also one of the way through which you can add those things. Okay. So uh, if you go into say routing, okay. So let me go into routing and show you the last part. So, so let me show you, uh, there are various settings in routing. So in the routing, you can see that uh, there is a skills-based routing. So settings related to skills-based routing. So if I click on manage over here, then here is the setting to enable the skill control okay once that is done you will be able to attach various rating model from here you can add those rating model which we have seen earlier and you can specify the min and max rating and once this is saved you will be able to add those proficiency level as well okay now these are the different areas through which you can attach skills okay so it can be attached through a user it can be attached to a skills and then attach a user so all those things can be attained uh, using uh, this particular uh, interface okay now if you are not sure where to find those information again just go into admin center click on skills and these are the various areas like user management skills user management skills hub routing skills based routing and under user management you can also go into enhanced user management uh, which the screen which i have showed you and you will be able to see all the summarized information okay against that particular users so that's it, folks. This is all about skills within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Thanks for watching.